So I made this video for people that had asked how to operate the Model T. So what you see here is I'm priming it by pulling on the choke cable, giving it a couple pulls, and then I'll go ahead and crank it. Doesn't want to go the first two times, but uh, third time it goes. You start it with the spark lever fully up in the retarded position. And then once it starts, you're gonna move the spark lever about midway down until the engine evens out and sounds good. The pedals on the Model T are very different than the modern car, as are pretty much all of the controls. I'll show a photo and uh, explain a little bit about. So the left pedal with the C on it is a clutch of sorts. When you press it all the way down, it's in low gear. When you are halfway up on it, you're in neutral, and all the way out is high gear. You can set the parking brake in a 90 degree position, and that will allow you to stay in neutral and just low gear. The middle pedal with the R on it is reverse, and the right pedal with the B on it is brake. And it's a transmission band brake, so it's not like a modern uh, brakes, and it definitely doesn't stop on a dime. So here we are setting up the top canopy. Definitely a two-man job. I have Dustin helping me out with this one. You'll see it requires a little bit of work to get that put up into position. This is a 1914 Ford Model T touring car. This particular car is a four-cylinder, 20-horsepower engine. It's about 65 inches wide, about 131 inches long, weighs about 1,200 pounds, and it's about 76 inches tall, so it won't fit in my garage, unfortunately, with the top up. So I have to put the top down to get it in. You'll notice I didn't mention that any of the pedals were the gas pedal, and there isn't a gas pedal. The gas is controlled with a throttle lever, which is up on the steering column. I have some cuts of video showing operating the throttle. Actually a lot more like driving a tractor than driving a car. You can see here I'm using the throttle lever, which is on my right but your left, to adjust the throttle on the vehicle. Up is less throttle and down is more throttle. The lever on my left but your right is the spark advance, and that sets the timing on the vehicle, and you have to do that manually.
as you approach a stop or an intersection, you're going to start to reduce the throttle down to use some engine braking, and then you're going to put that left clutch pedal, one mark with the C, into the middle position. That'll get you into neutral and then press down on the brake. That'll allow you to come to a stop. When it's time to move forward again, right foot off the brake, some throttle, push down firmly on the clutch pedal to go into low gear, then reduce the throttle and come up off the clutch to go into that high gear. And you're moving again. sound you heard there is an exhaust cutout. It's a button on the floor that allows you to bypass the muffler and let the exhaust go straight out. It's supposed to give you more power. <laughs> this Model T also has an exhaust whistle, a Claxton horn, as well as a rubber bulb horn. In this cut, I'm climbing a hill. You'll see I'm adjusting the spark and the throttle to get up the hill, I'm starting in low gear, and then you'll see I'll put it into high gear when I crest the hill. I'm by no means an expert on Model Ts. I have some friends that are much more knowledgeable about these cars than I will ever be and have helped me to learn what I needed to know to be able to operate mine. But that's enough talking on my end. Enjoy the rest of our Sunday ride.
I'm just going to pull right here. And I'm going to turn the camera around. 